Hi, I'm Mia. What I love is creating things. you're going to like the best are the projects! I don't think so. Scary! Trust me! This is going to be great! Here, you can learn how to draw some fun pictures. Choose a category that interests you, and then pick the picture that you would like step-by-step -step drawing instructions for. Now, we can use these arrow buttons to scroll and find which drawings we would like to do. Let's try the bird. Drag it to the drawing area. Now, we can see the steps needed to create this drawing. Using this button to stop and start the animation, or these buttons to move forward or backward through the steps in the drawing. You can use this button to make the drawing bigger, and you can move the window around the screen. Now, let's start drawing. First, I'll draw the circle for the body. Now I can use this auto-correcting pencil to make my lines very nice. You have three choices. Freehand, curved lines, and straight lines. I'm going to use the straight lines one. Whoa! Remember, if you do something you don't like, this is an undo button. Oh! There we go! I can bring this into the painting area and draw in a background, but first, I'll save it.
This is the paint section. Here, you can use all sorts of great tools to paint a picture. So pick a color and show me what you can do. Click on my picture if you want some help. And I know some good jokes, too. My mother has the worst memory in the world. Why? Does she forget everything? No, she remembers everything. What can I help you with? Here's how. Click on the wax crayon at the bottom of the page. Then you can use these arrow buttons to scroll through the choices. When you find one that you like, just drag it to the drawing area. Then you can use the paint bucket tool to quickly fill any areas. Select a color that you like and then click inside the area you want to fill. When you are done, you can save your drawing in your album by clicking on the camera icon. If you change your mind and don't want to keep it, select it and then click on the garbage can.
In this section, you can play with shapes. You can try all kinds of combinations, and then when you have one you like, you can bring it into another section and add to it. Let me give you a demonstration. If the shapes are not visible at the bottom of the screen, then click on this button. Now, pick a color that you would like to start with. I'm going with red. Just like in all the sections, you can use these arrows to scroll through the choices. I'll start with an oval. Then I'll bring up a triangle, and then rotate it. Now, one of these cool eyes, and I've got a cool-looking fish. You can save using the camera icon, and then you can use your creation in another section. Like putting on the front of a birthday card or something.
In this section, you can do all kinds of projects, like making your own greeting cards, a mobile, or a calendar. Pick the kind of project you would like to start with. You can use them as they are, or you can create your own. To start a project, use these buttons and a window with many choices will appear. Choose a category and then drag the project you want to the work area. You see these icons at the top of the screen? I can use them to go from the front to the middle to the back pages of my project. I'm going to put some text on the back of my card. All I have to do is to click on the text button and a text box will appear. Then, I click inside the box and start typing. I can use this slider to make the text bigger and smaller, and these buttons to align or center the text. I think I'll make the text blue. To move the box around, I click outside it to deselect it. Then, I can grab it and move it around. Let's add a picture. I have the choice of character art or clip art. Drag whatever you want to the project and then you can change its size and rotate it. I can print this out now.
I really like to dance, and this is the place to do it. Here, you can put together fun animated scenes and then pick the music to go with them. Start by choosing a background. Then choose from all these great animations. When you find one you like, drag it to the background. You can resize it or rotate it. Select a music track. When you are ready, use this button to stop and start the dancing. And then you can play with the mix. Adjust the volume and turn on or off any of the four tracks. Melody, rhythm, bass and beat.
soup in a restaurant said to the waiter, Waiter, there is a small insect in my soup. And the waiter responded, I'm sorry, sir. I'll get you a bigger one. <laughs> I got it. Smaller. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh.